in these problems, we're being asked to compute something called a trimmed mean. And you probably know how to compute a mean already, um, a mean or an average. You just add all your numbers together and divide by the number of numbers. With a trimmed mean, you'd basically do the same thing, except before you do that adding and dividing, you trim off, you chop off a certain percent of the data from the top and the bottom. In this first problem, we have 10 standardized test scores. To compute the mean, you just add all those together and divide by 10. No problem. The 10% trimmed mean means you chop off the top 10% of the data and the bottom 10% of the data and then uh, compute your mean. So in this case, 10% of the data, well, there are 10 data points, so 10% of 10 is 1. So we'd top off, chop off the one lowest score and the one highest score and then compute a mean. Of course, when you're doing that, you'd be dividing by 8 and not by 10 anymore because you just got rid of two of your data points. And actually, I think the easiest way to deal with data sets like this is to type them into a spreadsheet. And we can do lots of manipulation there and make the computer do our arithmetic so we don't make any silly mistakes. So I typed in our data here, just as it was in the problem. And the first thing I'm going to do is sort it so we can easily find the lowest and the highest values. So I'll select that column and then sort so now we have it arranged from lowest to highest. That's convenient. And let's go ahead and calculate the mean using the built-in formulas in the spreadsheet. I'll type an equal sign and then the word AVERAGE in all caps. That's um, what we use for mean here in Google Sheets. And then select that set of numbers in the parentheses. And there we go. So our mean is 495. And I'm just going to jot that down over here. 495, that's the mean. And we also want a 10% trimmed mean. Now, I can use the same formula, just leave it the way it is, and just trim off the one point, the 10% of the data from the bottom and from the top. And there we go. Our trimmed 10% trimmed mean is 500. So let's go back and look at, and check if that's one of the answers. Yeah, right here, 495 and 500. Let's do one more like this. This problem says below is a set of scores on a math test. Compute the mean, the 5% trim mean, and the 10% trim mean for the scores. So I have typed this data in too, but let's think about what a 5% and 10% trimmed mean would look like. We've got 20 pieces of data here. So 10% of 20 is 2. So for the 10% trim mean, I'm going to chop off the bottom two and the top two. For a 5% trim mean, well, that's half of 10. I'm going to chop off just one from the bottom and one from the top. Now, our answer choices are expressed in fractions, so that's a little annoying, but we can figure that out when we get there. Let's go ahead and approach this the same way we did the last one. So I've got a new sheet for this one, and I've got our data typed in here. It's not sorted yet, so let's do that first. Select that column and then sort it. And let's go ahead and, and calculate the mean first. So we'll type in that formula for the mean. I'm just going to type the range here rather than scroll down. All right. So our average is 66.8. Let's take a minute to look back at our answer choices. 66.8. Yeah, it looks like two of our choices, we have 66 and 4 fifths. 4 fifths is 0.8. Um, and if you want to check that, you could take 4 divided by 8 on your calculator or in a cell in the spreadsheet and, and double check that. Um, so it's going to be either B or D. Let's go ahead and do our 5% um, our trimmed mean first. So on the 5% trimmed mean, what we're doing is we're taking away the lowest and the highest. So 5% of, of 20 data points is 1, so we chop off 1 from the bottom and 1 from the top. So we'll do that. Okay, so now we got 68, an even number. So let's take a look at that. And it looks like it's going to be D, because that one's got 68 for the 5%. But let's just go ahead and do the 10% as well. So we'll take off another one from the low end of the data. Stop off two from the bottom. And then, whoops, also two from the top we'll do here. And we get 68.125. I see that I've got 68 and 1 eighth. If you want to verify that 1 eighth is 0.125, you could just type in an equal sign, 1 divided by 8. 
And yes, it is 0.125. So this is 68 and 1 8. So our answer here is D. So that is a little bit of work with the trimmed mean.